episode to show you just a few of the editing functions and note taking functions in uh, Mobile Sheets Pro. So I'm going to open Mobile, open Mobile Sheets Pro by just clicking on the symbol on your tablet. Uh, and then you can go to uh, any song that you want to uh, by clicking on recent song, song set list. But let's say we're going to do African Noel for, for this training. So you can see the song opens up. Normally, um, if you click down in this corner here, and I didn't have it set that way, uh, normally you keep your uh, music in the locked mode. And that way, if you tap on the page, you'll only get a page turn up or down. Uh, you have to unlock it to do your editing. So the way you do that, click in the lower right corner and you'll see this little box comes up. Right in the center is a padlock. So just unlock that by clicking on it. You can see it says performance mode is disabled. Then what you do is you click in the center of your page and when you do all the editing functions appear on the top and the bottom and you can we can close this audio out we won't need that and what I'm going to talk about is across the top at this point uh, you can see this looks like a paintbrush here that is the one I want to talk about today if you click on that once it brings up a set of functions across the top and whatever you click on up here your finger or your stylus whichever you use and becomes that implement so let's say you want to write a note you would click on the pencil once you see this box down here popped up and here you can define the line size the color you want if you don't like red I'm going to do red but if you don't like red you can pick some other color like blue I'm going to leave it as red though so I'll click red again uh, and you can also move this box out of your way. Let's say you want to make a note down here and it's in your way. This is a little drag box, so you just push, click and hold, or press and hold, and then you can drag this box around wherever you want to take it. You see my computer recording is a little slow. It's got a little time lag. So, I now have my, my finger or my stylus as a pencil. Let's say I just want to circle this uh, tempo right here. So all I do is I just take my finger or my stylus and make the mark you can write notes uh, and so forth um, if you don't like that let's say it's a mistake well what I need to do is turn my stylus or my finger into an eraser so I come over here and I click on the eraser and that is a drag box eraser so you just click somewhere outside of the correction you want to make and hold down and drag the box over the mistake and let go when you do it erases it so that's very easy let's say there's something you want to highlight uh, for example you want to make sure you don't miss this uh, dynamic change from single F to P over here I go up to the top and I click once on the highlighter again you can change uh, as you could on the writing you can change the color or the width and so forth I need to drag this out of my way at this point so I click and hold down here just drag that box out of my way since I'm a highlighter now what I do is I just take my stylus or my finger and press on the tablet where I want to highlight and it does the highlighting anything that you change on this page if you want to keep it if it's okay you definitely want to click on save in this corner because if you don't uh, you'll lose it you can cancel out of it which means anything you've changed will go away or in this case if I want to again erase it I click on the eraser I, I press and drag my box again my computer's slow here just drag the box over the item and it erases it. There's one other way to make a note that's uh, pretty handy and it's much clearer to read. You see this capital A up here? If you click once on that, you'll notice that uh, it changed color. And then what I do is I go down in my page and I click. 
again. And what that does is it brings up the keypad and uh, it allows me to actually type a note. So I'm just going to type in, let's see if it'll work, T E S T for test. And then I'm just going to click again. And you can see what it does is it creates a box. If I click here, you can see the box dimension. Let me move this out of the way. And uh, if I click back here, it'll, again, it'll take away the, uh, the text box. And uh, you can see it's very readable. And I'll, I, I can also click and press and hold. And now that I've created it, I can drag it anywhere I want. Let's see here. I'm supposed to be able to. Again, I'm not sure why my computer is so slow. There we go. So I can drag it over here. If I want to change it, I can click back down in the text box and uh, make, you know, I'll just type test again. And you can see that I've added the text. Again, if I don't like that, I click on the eraser, drag a box around it, and boom, it's gone. So that's a way you can quickly add notes as you're performing. You can have your stylus or your finger as a pencil, as a highlighter, uh, as a typed text message, or as an eraser. So those are the main functions you will use. Hope this helps.